Hi, I'm Melinda Van Fleet, and welcome to the Good Karma Success Coach Podcast. I'm a success coach, speaker, and business consultant, and my husband Ryan and I were laid off at the same time 10 years ago. We moved to the Florida Keys without jobs, not knowing anyone, hardly any money, and we'd never even been here. But we made it, and now we're living our best lives. And all along on our journey, I've said that someday when we get our quote unquote shit together, we will help others. And since then, we've both done a lot of self-work and built successful businesses. So that day is here, and one of my ways of paying it forward is through this podcast. Each week, my intent is to be relatable and bring you tactical tips, tools, share my learnings and stories that can help inspire or transform you wherever you are in your career or general life and make an impact. I strongly believe that if I can do it, you can do it too. So what's stopping you? Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me this week on the Good Karma Success Coach Podcast. I have a very special holiday guest with us today and it's Deborah Lupian, the voice of the Akashic Records and she has been on this podcast several times before. I will put all those podcast numbers in the show notes so you can go back through and revisit, but I thought it would be just beautiful and just a great treat to have Deborah on to share with us a special holiday meditation. So I'm going to kick it right off to Deborah. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Melinda. Great to be here again. Awesome. Oh, so, as I was listening to you, I was getting this visual of these angels. I think there's about six of them and they move in really close. This is for everybody. Angels move in really close and they're all standing almost touching you and then they all bend forward and kiss you on the cheek oh. and you're surrounded with this ring of angels and all of that love and uplifting energy so that whatever it is that you're facing right now in this moment know that your angels are there filling you up with vital force energy with love and light to help you get through it in the very best way and they're always there, truly. They want you to know that. They never leave your side. So whenever you're feeling a little down or having a rough day, maybe just take a couple of minutes and sit down and close your eyes. Just visualize those angels being there, embracing you, filling you with love. And that will be perfect. So as I connect with the Akashic Records and I ask for what do you have to share with us today as we're approaching the holidays, this very sacred time of year and a world that feels like it's upside down and very chaotic at the moment. And I feel this gentle coolness. It's like snowflakes falling. These beautiful fluffy snowflakes are falling from above. Very peaceful, very loving this perfect white blanket, the purity, the stillness, the peace, surrounding, cooling. Just notice all the sensations that come up for you when you focus on those snowflakes. And now there's this beautiful, liquid gold and white light flowing down from above into your crown chakra. It's filling your body, moving down slowly, one chakra at a time, beginning with your crown at your head, moving down to your third eye, into and past your throat, moving still further down into your heart chakra, settling there for just a moment, lighting you up with this brilliant star. And it's the star of Bethlehem sitting now in your root chakra. I'm sorry, we were at your heart chakra, sitting now in your heart chakra, filling you up with all of that love and light, 
And we know this star hasn't been around for a couple thousand years at least. And now it's back this year, bringing with it a cleansing, a purifying, a message of hope that we can and we will, we are moving out of this dark phase into something so much greater than we have yet to imagine. So just allow that amazing star of Bethlehem to fill you from the inside out with the love and the light of your creator. And now that star moves down into your solar plexus, energizing your seat of power, expanding, filling, charging you up. And when you're fully charged, it moves down to your sacral chakra. This is the seed of your abundance. Allow it to fill you with abundant love, gratitude, trust that more is coming, confidence that whatever you need will come. Maybe not in the time that you're expecting it, but it always comes. When you ask, it is always given. It just sometimes looks different than what you expected, but it always comes. And now that amazing star is moving down finally to your root chakra lighting up all of the chakras above like a twinkling holiday tree. It's delightful. It's beautiful. It's energizing. Filling you with this most powerful energy and yet at the time it's also gentle and soft. And that's a beautiful combination, power, that comes gently and softly. A lot like the lessons of this season. And now that beautiful star is moving down out of your body, down into the earth, firmly grounding you allowing you to feel that connection between the heavens and the earth that nourishes you. You are safe. You are secure. You are so very loved. Just feel that for a moment. And now let's ask Metatron, our amazing super guardian angel. What message do you have to share with us as we approach this new season of hope and love? And Metatron stands before you holding his arms wide, inviting you to step in for an embrace. And as you step forward into the loving arms of your super guardian angel, Archangel Metatron, you feel the most powerful, deep, soothing love you've ever felt in your life. It envelops your entire being. Your body is nearly singing with joy from this feeling of being so completely loved and accepted and understanding that that's your truth every day. You are always this loved and accepted. It's you who separate yourself from it. So in those times when you feel lost and afraid, come back to Metatron, call out. Step back into those loving arms 
allow yourself to feel this total love and acceptance. And you might feel it tingling through your entire body because it's just that powerful. And as it tingles and bubbles through your body, the realization comes, you are the powerful creator of your reality. You can create whatever you desire. What will you create? Think about it. Be intentional. Be present in the moment. And know that when those fleeting thoughts slip through your mind, they are very often your guide team bringing you inspired ideas that when you act upon them, will stimulate the energy and will be the catalyst that brings to you that which you seek. You see, dear beautiful soul, what you often miss are those fleeting inspired ideas. So make it a promise to yourself that you will now be more mindful. You will write down those inspired ideas. You will record them in some fashion so that you can take action upon them because know that they never come in a singular fashion. They're always followed by more, more and more and more, like pieces of a puzzle will come together. And as you take action, you will see this beautiful, magnificent manifestation coming to be, all the pieces coming together into your own beautiful creation. And should you feel it's perhaps taking a little longer, maybe that fear is creeping in, come back to this space, come back to Metatron, allow yourself to trust and know that everything is working out in divine timing. Sometimes there are pieces that must come from other places and that can delay your manifestation but it's still coming. I encourage you to record all of your manifestations so that when you slip into those places of fear and doubt, you can go back and remind yourself of all of the amazing manifestations you already created. That will fill you and feed you. It will shore you up as you remind yourself that yes, indeed, you are the creator of your reality today and every day. With mindfulness, with intention, it happens. And you know what? When you do this, when you marvel over your own creations, your inspired ideas, life will feel so magical you'll begin looking for more of the magic. Your eyes will be opened wider. You will see more of the magic that is truly around you all of the time. And as you move forward on your daily walk, you will begin noticing more and more of the beautiful gems that your guides have scattered forth for you just waiting for you to see them and pick them up, put them to use in your life in whatever way you choose. And so lovely, amazing soul, that's how your life can be. That's how it was intended to be. That's what you can allow it to be. It's always up to you. Bask in the love and the gratitude for all that you are and all that you have created. Bask in the confidence that you will create more 
that your life truly is an adventure, no matter what the outside world looks like. You are on your own singular soul journey. And all of those souls uniting together with their beautiful singular journeys creates a multi-dimensional masterpiece, the grand tapestry that we create together on this earth. And we will go on creating for as long as our souls desire to be in these bodies. And when the time comes that we're ready to exit this particular skin suit, we will return to that energetic form. We will reflect, reconsider, make choices about the next time, and then we'll gleefully jump back into another body and do it all again. Just like a child who took that sled ride from the big hill when they reached the bottom, they grabbed their sled giggling and they ran all the way back to the top to do it again. And that is what we do as souls again, 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 more, more, more. And there is an eternity of mores because you are an eternal being. So much joy, wonder and delight awaits you. And as you step into the sacred season, be mindful, be intentional, watch for the signs. When you see them, bask in appreciation and take action. Keep doing that and it will get more exciting, more delicious, more wonderful every day. So that is your intention on this expansive journey that you chose to undertake in this body at this time. And that is your story. So with that, take a deep breath. Metatron is now bidding farewell wishing you wonderful adventures and much love and reminding you that he's always available just a whisper away so with many blessings and much love all for you we say thank you thank you Thank you. Oh, so. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you so much. That felt so peaceful to me. Did it feel that way to you? Yes. Yes. And you hit on so many things. And I loved even the opening with the angels. And then I felt like I, I could see Metatron and went to give him a hug even before you said that. So that was just really powerful and then also the sleds at the end you're right as kids we go up and down the hill with our sleds and even some lucky adults i don't have that right now but you know it's true it's just really was a good analogy it was beautiful deborah thank you so much yeah you're so welcome thanks for giving me the opportunity to do it yes yes so yeah hopefully everyone has a, a beautiful christmas if you celebrate christmas if you celebrate other holidays of course um, happy holidays and uh, happy new year. Deborah. how can people get hold of you? And what would you like to share, if anything? Well, I actually have a lot going on right now. This coming Saturday, I'll be doing my monthly Ask Your Guides live channeled event. So they can join me by going to akashaunleashed.com slash VIP. When they do that, I will send them the Zoom link so that they can join me live. Then on New Year's Day, I'm going to be doing a live stream on YouTube. So they need to subscribe to my YouTube channel, or if they're on my mailing list, I will send them the link so that they can join me live. 
and that will be 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on New Year's Day. We're going to see what our guides and angels have to share with us as we start the new year. It's something I do every year, either on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. And, and this year, my people said, let's do it on New Year's Day. So that's what it will be. And you know what? Also, my book would make a great holiday gift. If you're looking for gift ideas, you can find my book, Akasha Unleashed, The Missing Manual to You on Amazon. Grab that and share it with a loved one and they will thank you for it. Yes, your book is amazing. And I think you were reading my mind because I'm like, your book is such a great holiday present. And there you go. You said it. So that's... That's awesome. And I know I look forward to your Zoom call, especially the one on the first. I think that's just amazing. I did receive your email blast and I was open either day. So um, I'm looking forward to that. Thank you for doing all that. And I will put all this information in the show notes. So, and, and definitely just subscribe. Deborah has the most wonderful email. Um, I, I was told not to call things newsletters. So I, what would you say? What would you call it? I, you know, when I write it, I kind of feel like it's that letter that you send every holiday to your family to catch them up on the whole year, except I do it once a week. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the vibe I get too. That's why I feel like newsletter isn't the right word. And, and I was also in a marketing class uh, the other day. I heard someone say that, you know, not to call them newsletters anymore because they're, they're more personal. It's not really like you're sharing the news. Um, and yeah, Deborah's are amazing. So definitely sign up for her mailing list. So you get her weekly, weekly letter, which is very cool. So awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. You're welcome.